Odds are you may know someone who has Parkinson's from actor Michael J. Fox, who we all know, former boxer Muhammad Ali. The disease, of course, is known for causing tremors, slowing a person's movement, and things can get worse from there. But it can also rob a person of something else. In this week's Ones for Texas, a local group is giving Parkinson sufferers their voices back in a record setting way. Here's Steve Pickett. This is not your typical concert, and these are not your usual performers. Everyone singing on this stage has Parkinson's disease. I think when people hear the word Parkinson's, maybe they think of tremors. They may not realize that 90% of people with Parkinson's can struggle with speech and swallowing. And that's where the Parkinson Voice Project steps in with a yearly concert called Sing Out. It is the world's largest Parkinson's chorus with over 100 people. But the big message here is that speech and swallowing can be improved in Parkinson's, but they require a lot of therapy and early intervention. Parkinson Voice Project in Richardson provides therapy sessions, getting patients to learn to speak and even sing with intent, even if it isn't on stage. When along came Speak Out and the Parkinson Voice Project, People like Dwayne Pollard, who was diagnosed with a brain disorder in 2014. I was one of those that put off and put off and put off, so I put off too long. Despite the diagnosis, Dwayne has not lost his sense of humor when we caught up with him after the concert. So what's next for you? Uh, Broadway. <laughs> These performers, nicknamed the Loud Crowd, went through dozens of rehearsals before the big performance. This is a day where all of our performers can just put Parkinson's aside. Forget about it just for this time. And it's a time for the families and friends to celebrate all of the performers and just have a really nice day. Steve Pickett. CBS 11 News. Since 2008, so you know, the founder of the Parkinson Project, the Voice Project, says that the Richardson Clinic has been funded through donations and also a pay it forward system that they have set up. Donations from the concert, by the way, help fund dozens of grants to hospitals, to universities, to clinics, not just here, but around the world, to replicate the training that's being done successfully right here in North Texas. So, all good things coming yeah. for people who deserve good things.